Zero tolerance crackdown on distracted driving got underway today. The chance of you getting caught texting or talking on a handheld cell phone just went way up. Our chief political correspondent Mark Davis here now with word that starting soon, the penalty for distracted driving may only be one of the headaches. Hey, pay attention, Mark. That's why I was just going to send you a message. There's no law against texting while on TV yet, but uh, the uh, the fine for texting while driving may be going up from $125 to $150, and that's just the beginning. All across the state, a big crackdown on distracted driving, especially talking or texting, got underway today. Honda, four-door, dark green color coming right at you. Here in Danbury, by the entrance to the mall, it was going on all afternoon. Similar enforcement was going on today in Monroe, Bethel, and along Interstate 84. Texting while driving is soon going to start really hurting. That's because in the closing days of the General Assembly session, lawmakers voted to increase the penalties. But it also will score points on your driver's license, points that will result in higher annual insurance rates. Drivers we spoke with today said they were all for it. I see it all the time, and I'm glad to see it's cracking down. I mean, I have a year-old child, so it's kind of like, you know, it's a lot of people need to start focusing on where they're going instead of worrying about what they're doing on their cell phones. There will be four week-long enforcement waves this month, more later in the year. I'm happy that they're cracking down on it because texting is ridiculous. I mean, in my opinion, it's just, just as bad as drunk driving, uh, and I'm totally against it. Some studies have actually compared it to drunk driving. I don't like it when I see it. And I'm glad that they're cracking really down on the texting and the phone. See a lot of, especially females, on the phone during the day. For the record, the people stopped today were men and women. And some even told the police they thought it was a good idea. It's about 50-50. Some people are upset. And some people thank you by the end of it, you know, for making sure that our roadways and highways are safe. Now you can get a very nice free brochure explaining all of this along with your ticket and a self-addressed stamped envelope and where to send your fine if you get stopped. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.